What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Commander Restless Corpse. Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. We are just kind of drifting here. I found a cool little planet with a with a sun decently sized behind it, so I decided to take a quick screenshot. But we're gonna get right underway, guys, because I'm gonna be honest, I am tired as hell. And this has already resulted in me doing a stupid and running into a star I was trying to scoop. So that just goes to show uh, it, you probably shouldn't fly a spaceship when you're about to fall asleep. So here's hoping that I don't pass out and uh, maybe talking to you guys is going to keep me up. I've got, of course, the next big, big star plotted. And it was something like 29 jumps at the end of the episode yesterday. But I did a little bit of jumping and we're only seven jumps away from it. Um, I know it's got an O. I don't remember exactly what else it has. But... The last few big big star jumps we've done are, or have been really unimpressive, except for the stuff around it, like yesterday's video with the ridiculous amount of neutron stars. So I'm hoping we find something cool. It's been a really long time since I've seen a black hole, and every non-sequence star I've found so far, or just recently anyway, has been a neutron star, which don't get me wrong, it's super awesome because finding a bunch of them is like a giant payday. But I'd like to see some more stuff. Oh, look at that guy. That's too far away, but... Then we got some metal contents going on there. 144. Eh. We're just going to scan this guy and move on. I'm not sure how long today's video is going to be, guys. Because, as you probably know, I just kind of... I just got to hit record and go. But I know I've said that before. But today is a little different because I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, just more Final Fantasy XIV shenanigans. After the video that I recorded for you guys yesterday, I had to record some Lufia as well. And it was so late when I was done that I just stayed up. <laughs> I logged back into Final Fantasy and, and ran some dungeons and stuff and, and talked to people and and I stayed up, watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos, fell asleep in my chair for like five minutes. Literally only five minutes. And they could not get back to sleep. And it happens sometimes. I have really hardcore insomnia. And I know that people like to throw that word around because sometimes they just can't get to sleep or they, they like staying up. But I actually have pretty damn hardcore insomnia. So a lot of times, regardless of when I woke up or, you know, how late or how long I've been up sometimes if I doze off for a couple minutes my body decides that is enough and I cannot get back to sleep what do we have here that is a metal these are all metal planets so once again moving on uh, but it should be okay because I am genuinely tired now which doesn't really happen a whole lot so, uh, which is good because I have to work in the morning and it's already, it's already 1248, which, you know, this is generally my, my usual recording time, which if you're wondering why I record so late, well, now, you know, I have pretty hardcore insomnia, uh, but I'm pretty sure I'll be all right. And as long as I keep talking to you guys, I don't think that I'm going to do anything stupid again. But if you look down at my hull, it is 96%. I have run into three different stars now. Two neutron stars and a regular ass like M or whatever right before I started recording. But I'm hoping that we find something cool at this big star, which we are five jumps away. I started working on the exploration checklist that I was going to put. Do uh, you see where it says primary two and heat sink and all that stuff over there on the, the right side? The big open window part right there was what I was going to use. Oh my god. All right. All right, sir. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. That could have been serious. Okay, he's going back down. Whoo! Did you, did you guys see that? That was crazy. Let's power down, turn around, and see what the hell that it was. Oh, that made me, made me jump a little bit, guys. <laughs> But this might be a sweet ass screenshot. Oh, wow. What in the 
Look, what the hell is going on with that star? It is spinning like ridiculous fast. And it's got that tiny little guy right there. What are you? That's, I think that's a T. A Titari. Wow, I've never seen anything like this, guys. Might have to get a cool screenshot of this, but that was scary as hell. Like, I thought I was going to blow up right there. Oh, that's a tiny-ass Herbig AE, which means it's probably spinning super fast, too. Let's see what this guy is. I don't... I don't think it's actually spinning. I don't know what the hell's going on with this star. It looks like... Water droplets, like, flowing around it. That's a... Wow. This is fucking cool looking. And if you look where it says detailed scan complete, like... Obviously, the Herbig is spinning, but it doesn't seem to be spinning as fast as this big guy. I and mean, you can kind of see it because the the text there. I don't know what to make of this star, guys. Let's see what else is in this system. What are you? Oh, there's another one over there. What the hell is going on in this system? All right, it's undiscovered, which is good. I have never seen a star like that before in my life. I look at, like, just, just look at it in the dim, like the uh, translucent info panel there. That is cool as hell. All right, here's the deal. I'm gonna try and get a little bit further away from these guys. I wonder how. What is the difference in distance between these two stars here? That is 10.9 light seconds. That is, oh, oh, those stars are super close to each other. Huh. Oh, I got some dead zone going on in my... So I jumped in between the two stars, which is fucking dangerous as hell. But that is absolutely awesome. Let's get a screenshot, guys. I'm going to try and angle it so that I can see all three stars. Where was the other one? Where is the other one? I don't seem to have... Oh, because I didn't... I didn't have it targeted. Okay, so the other one's off that way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get everything in the shot, but I... Let's see how close I can get to this. Huh. All right. I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to get into a classified camera screenshot mode. Just look at it. It's actually easier to see now that I'm in this mode. The Herbig AE BE is spinning like they usually do because they're tiny. But what is going on with this big star? Like, it's not a small star. We're 10 something sec light seconds away from it. So, I mean, it's your usual size star like but what is going on like along the surface of it because if you look at the detailing of the star none of that is turning at all but i guess it's kind of happening the same way with the uh the herbig i don't know that's really weird but it just looks like it's it, there's water droplets flowing over the sun or the star it's not a sun because there aren't any planets here i don't think uh, yeah, because there's only the three stars. And then the other star is up there. I mean, this is this is awesome, guys. I really don't know what to make of this system. This is one of the coolest things I have seen out here. Man. All right, well... <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else to do in the system other than sit here and admire it. So let's get out of here. All right. We've only got three more jumps to go. I'm already thinking about how I'm going to turn that part. Because that was crazy. Like, I jumped in. It scared me. Like, it literally made me jump because I thought that I was going to actually crash into one of them. And I immediately, like, thought I was going to blow up. Like, I thought I was just going to burn to a crisp right there. I had my finger on the... Whoa, whoa, hello. I had my finger on the, the trigger to fire that heat sink and everything. Luckily, I didn't have to. But I'm already thinking about how I can make that into a sweet-ass gif with uh, 
with those stars like spinning so close to each other they could almost touch each other. It was crazy. Oh, I have the damn star. I'm sitting here going circles around the star because I thought it was my next system. But they're just, I've never seen any that close. That was crazy. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's a good find. But we've got three jumps. Let's get to it. Hopefully there'll be something super awesome at this big star. And then when we get there, I know I, I've said this several times and then I don't follow through, but when we get there, we're gonna check the distances, how far away we are from home and how far we are from the core. Because yesterday's video not only took us really far because of some of the stuff that I did offline or off camera, but the jump that, we, that I did, that this is the end of, was almost a thousand light year jump. Oh, I did not slow down. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I am making mistakes left and right, guys. I am gonna die. This is probably the last video of this exploration voyage because I am going to crash and die. Alright, let's see what we've got going on here. Nothing interesting. How far away is that other star? Too far. So we're going to scan and go. Let this be a lesson to you guys. Do not explore when you're super tired. Because things happen. And, <laughs> I mean, we found something cool. My response time could have been a little bit faster. Uh, and it's moments like that which make me think sometimes it's not best to Friendship throttle down during witch space to you know come into the system powered down uh, because well maybe not because if I had been going full speed I might have crashed into one of them like stopping allowed me to nose up and zoom out of there I wish you could boost in hyper or in super cruise sometimes but I understand why you can't because you're not actually moving the space around you is moving so it's it's a weird thing uh, to get around like relativity and stuff like that, which uh, I'm sure I've talked about in a previous episode, one of the first or something like that, when I was you know learning the mechanics of the game and whatnot. But uh, I am scaring myself to be honest with how dangerous it is flying like this. So. <laughs> Like I said, this is probably going to be a shorter video. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it when we get to the big star, which we are one jump away. So barring anything super cool in this system, I will probably bid you adieu, send you free, let you go, you know, do what you got to do out in the wild, release you until tomorrow, of course. Frameshift drive charging. All right, here we go. Now, as far as I remember, it's only an O. There might be one other star, like a M or something. Uh, I'm hoping that there's going to be at least a lot of planets because I want to see something. You know, I probably, you know, I probably should have just, I don't know, I probably should have just, you know, put something on Twitter apologizing about why I couldn't make a video today. But I did promise you guys daily videos. Uh, there definitely will not be a Luffy video tomorrow. Just throwing that out there. I don't know how many of you guys are actually watching it, but I do not have the uh, the mental capacity right now to jump into another game and record that. Oh, well, I mean, we've got this guy. And this has already been discovered anyway. And he is not only too far away, but not worth it to grab. Now, I'm assuming since that's in the middle, this is probably going to be 20,000 light years or light seconds away. So let's see. Oh, no, it's not. Well, whatever. We've got this guy. Let's angle away a little bit and check the galaxy map because if there's anything super awesome close to us, maybe we'll check that out. All right, angle toward the core as usual. I don't have any more big stars anywhere close. Uh, there are... Well, at least I thought yesterday when I was looking at this that I saw some neutron stars and stuff around it, but maybe not. And make sure we still have carbon stars, wolf red stars, and white dwarves. 
So this, you know, I don't, I don't look at the the galaxy in this view very often anymore, and I should, because it looks cool. And you can see what systems are like binary systems by, I guess, clicking on them. Like you can see the actual stars in it. That's pretty cool. Huh. Well, whatever. Go back to this guy. So, I don't see any non-sequence stars. Also, I'm not pointing at the core anymore. I just want to see how far our next uh, our next target's going to be. Remember, we're jumping from big star to big star. Oh, look at this. Neutron star there. 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 Got one here. We're, we're running into another neutron star patch, guys. We're going to have to knock out... Oh, my God, there's so many of them. Like, there's three up here. And then there's, you know... One over here. I mean, they're just everywhere. And none of them are black holes, man. That's, that's kind of a shame. But, uh, I tell you what. What I'm going to try and do is... I'm just going to have to remember... Is this where I am? Yeah, I'm just going to have to remember that this is out here for tomorrow because I think I'm going to knock into that. But this looks like it's going to be our next destination other than all those damn neutron stars. And it is a B. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. It just shows a B, but I'm sure getting in there and scanning it will probably show that it is more than just a B. Huh. Where, where'd it go? Did I move? Did I move from it? Oh, I'm so tired, guys. <laughs> I'm so tired. So I'll tell you what. Oh, there it is. I'm going to leave you here, but I just I want to see what else we've got going on. This guy will, would be the one after that. But I did say we were going to look and see how far away we are from home. So let's see that. We are almost 16,000 light years away, guys. And then, once again, to Sagittarius. The game's going to slow down a little bit, freak out. Sagittarius, we are a little less than 11,000 light years. So, we are way well above halfway there, guys. Especially since we took such a roundabout way. Like... If you look at the well, it's not really that far off to be honest. Like, as if you if you look here, straight up would have been there. We didn't really go that far to the east. I think we went up a lot though, because originally, like, my plan was to go like way the hell out here. Remember, toward the beginning of this series, I was talking about getting way out here and then moving in, but it was just too far. Like that is equal distance from home to the core it's it might even be farther and then we would have to go in and that's like two-thirds of the distance it just would have been it would have taken forever i mean i wonder how many people actually get out here to explore this area if anyone's ever been out here because it's just so far away and out of the way i like that that's kind of a, a cluster too that's probably going to end up where we're where we're going to be after we hit the core i think i'm going to go that way but anyway, yeah, we got a cool ass screenshot with a crazy star system and her big AE and an A that scared the hell out of me and looked super awesome. But that's all the time I've got, guys, because I cannot stay up any longer. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos of Elite Dangerous or any of the other videos that I've done, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have anything to say, throw it down in the comments. I do apologize for, I mean, if that hadn't happened, this video would have been totally super boring. So I'm glad at least something happened. But uh, again, I do apologize for the short duration and I apologize for my state in this video. Uh, I'll try and make sure that I can get these videos done before I'm super tired next time. In any case, remember, I'm Commander Restless Corpse. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Eject. 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 Eject.